Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. As belly dancers, we can never have enough hip scarves, and today I'm very excited to share with you this new ruched hip scarf I made. It's extra long, so it feels like a half skirt, which feels nice as you dance in it. And I love the ruched design. It's an easy, beginner-friendly project, and let me show you how to make this fun and comfy hip scarf to wear in your lessons. Let's get started. To make this ruched hip scarf, you need about 70 centimeters or 28 inches of stretch fabric. You can use jersey knit or spandex fabric. Make sure it's at least two-way stretch. And matching color thread. First, to make sure your finished hip scarf fits you well, take these two measurements. Belt line. This is where you want the waistband of the hip scarf to sit. Measure the circumference. And hip line. This is the fullest part of your hips. Measure the circumference. For this project, I decided to skip pattern making and draw directly onto my fabric. But if you're unsure, make a pattern first following the instructions, then cut your fabric. First, fold your fabric right sides together in half. Make sure the direction of stretch is perpendicular to the fold. And fold it again. I fold it like this to cut the front and back panels in one go, but if your fabric doesn't fold like this neatly, simply cut one panel at a time. On the side with two folded layers, pick a point at the top, and from there, measure a quarter of your belt line measurement minus three centimeters or one and a quarter inches. Make a mark there. Back to the point on the fold, measure down five centimeters or two inches, and measure the same length again from this point. Back on the fold, measure down 7.5 cm or 3 inches from the last point and measure a quarter of your hip line measurement minus 1 cm. Back on the fold, measure down 20 cm or 8 inches from the last point and measure a quarter of your hip measurement minus 1 cm again. Connect all these points and smooth out the hip area and cut along the lines except for the bottom line. Now pin or clip the top two layers together along the side seam and repeat for the bottom two layers. Then open up the layers carefully and straighten the fabric. On one side, extend the side seam line by 35 centimeters. If you want a longer hip scarf, you can extend this further. Now connect the ends of the side seams with a nice curved line like this. Start out straight for the first couple of centimeters, then draw a very gentle S-curve and a straight line again towards the other side. And cut along the lines. From the leftover fabric, cut a long strip like this that's 4 centimeters or 1.5 inches wide and about 1 meter long. Let's start assembling the hip scarf. First, for each of the panels, fold 2.5 cm or 1 inch from the top edge and do a zigzag stitch. And for the bottom edge, fold 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch from the edge and do a zigzag stitch. Do this for both panels and press the seams flat at a low heat setting. Next, place the panels right sides together and align the side edges. At the shoulder edge, do a straight stitch with a 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch seam allowance. Stretch gently as you sew. At the longer side, do a zigzag stitch with a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. And press the seam open at the shoulder edge. On the wrong side of the shoulder edge, sew down the seam allowance about 2 mm or 1 8 of an inch from the edge. Use a straight stitch and again, stretch gently as you sew. This makes channels for the drawstring. Now take the long strip and fold it right sides together lengthwise and do a narrow zigzag stitch with a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Trim the seam allowance down to about half and turn it inside out. I'm using a small safety pin to do this. Attach it at the end and guide it through the tube. Fold in the ends towards the wrong side and do a straight stitch and you have a nice matching strap. 
Turn the hip scarf right side out and take the safety pin again and attach it to the end of the strap. And guide it through one of the channels from the bottom of the hip scarf. Then take it through the other channel from the top. And tie a little knot at each end of the strap so it won't slip out easily. This drawstring allows you to gather this side of the hip scarf and create the ruching. And your ruched hip scarf is complete! It's stretchy, comfy, and pretty. And the extra length and the ruching design make it fun to wear. Use fabric with great prints or textures like lace and make your very own ruched hip scarf to show off at your next lesson. Now we have a sparkly belly costume contest happening from today. Simply take a photo of your creation inspired by a sparkly belly tutorial and share on social media for a chance to win the prize. This hip scarf will be a great one to make in one day so you can enter the contest. The deadline is next Wednesday, May 26th. Learn more in the description below. Hope you like this DIY ruched hip scarf tutorial and if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. And if you want to try making more fun belly dance costuming bits, check out my free email course, Belly Dance Costume Making 101 at sparklybelly.com slash free course. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!